In this video, you will learn how to insert footnotes and endnotes in Microsoft Word. I am Dr. Zaid Mahmood and you are watching Teaching Junction channel. Firstly, we will differentiate between these two terms which are footnotes and endnotes. Footnotes appear on the bottom of the page that contain the sentence to which it refer. If you want to add some explanation of a word or a sentence which appear on page number one, then the footnotes appear at the bottom of page number one. Similarly, if there is some sentence or word which appear on page number two and you want to add footnotes of that particular word or you want to add some explanation of that particular word, then the footnote appears on the page number two. But the end notes appear at the end of that particular document. For example, if you are writing pay, pay, some research article or some manuscript or book chapter, then and add explanation on different pages, then the end notes appear on the end of that document, not on individual pages. So let's start this tutorial. Firstly, we will learn how to insert these footnotes. Here is the second page of my document and I want to add some footnotes here. For example, here uh, the food manufacturers are interested in fortifying their product with vitamin E. Here I want to add explanation that this vitamin E is in the form of vitamin E acetate. Firstly, where you want to insert footnote, click here. You can see here, I want to insert footnote and I have clicked here. Now go to insert tab sorry not insert tab but in reference tab in reference tab you will find the option of insert in note option and note option footnote option sorry not end note i will click on in insert footnote option now you can see here a dialog box appear and your cursor automatically move to that direction i will add vitamin E acetate similarly I want to add another explanation of a word which appear on page number two here I want to add explanation of LAA I will place my cursor here I will click here and its meaning is L ascorbic acid. If you double click on the numbering, it will appear on where in the text where it is cited. Secondly, if you want to see the explanation of that particular word, you can place your cursor on that particular numbering and you can find easily the explanation of that particular word. For example, if you place your cursor here, you can see here its meaning is vitamin E acetate. And if I place my cursor here, then its mean it is L ascorbic acid. Now you can see here, uh, if I want to add the explanation of this one, it appeared on page number two and the footnotes appear on the bottom of page number two which is here secondly you have noted that it's uh, automatically give continuous numbering for example first one this one and this one is the second one if you remove some uh, footnotes then numbering will be automatically changed similarly if you change the sequence of your these paragraphs then the it will automatically change the numbering now if you want to delete these footnotes just select this numbering and press backscape option Now we will move to bottom of the page and you can see here the footnote is deleted and the, the numbering of the second footnote is changed now, it is one. And if you also want to delete this one, simply select this numbering and press backscape, footnote will be deleted. 
now uh, we will move to next part and we will learn how to insert this endnote in microsoft word firstly i want to add explanation of this one vitamin e i will place my cursor here where i want to add endnote I will go to reference tab and in reference tab I will find the option of this insert and note option click on it and <clears throat> you can now easily add explanation the cursor will automatically move to that direction at the end of that document in the form of vitamin E acetate you can see here that I have uh, I am adding the explanation of a word which appear on page number one but the end note appear at the end of document not on the that particular page similarly if I want to add explanation on page number two here I will place my cursor here and I will go to this insert and note option and I will add explanation L ascorbic acid there are plenty of options available where which you can use for conditionally format your end note or your footnotes for example here you will find the option of footnotes and here small arrow appeared here you can click on it now you can see here that the different options appeared first one is either you want to select footnotes or endnotes second one is the footnote layout then there is different format number format for example currently it is selected this one you can also change these numbering using this one you can either write one two three a b c small capital or special characteristics characteristics then these are options are available here secondly you can uh, start this footnote or end note using particular numbering currently by default it is selected one you can select from you can start from two three or four similarly you can choose the numbering either it is continuous or restart each section i will select continuous similarly you can apply changes to particular section or particular page or the whole document currently i have selected apply changes to whole document the procedure for deleting this uh, end note is same as footnote for example just select the numbering and press backscape the end note will be deleted now you can see here that only one end note appeared here similarly uh, if you want to delete this one then you will just select this and press backscape and that end note will be deleted that's the end of this tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial goodbye